have our pigs all loaded in the trailer. And Ryan is going to take them to the butcher this evening. They can be dropped off. We still have two left on the farm that will grow out for another three weeks and then we will take them um, to harvest as well. But Ryan is actually going to take these to the butcher tonight and drop them off and um, then they will be processed tomorrow. And I wanted to show you guys all this process because even though that it's a really sad thing that we're taking these animals and um, we're taking them to the butcher and they're going to be processed, um, it's just a really cool thing that we get to know how that animal was raised um, from when we brought it on our farm. So we will get more piglets in April and they're about 40 pounds. So they're pretty tiny. So you guys will see that as well. But we raise them out throughout the summer and then the fall, um, right around September and stuff, we take them in. Uh, and then we get to eat that meat um, over the year. And it's really cool. So um, the next video you guys will see is me picking up the meat from the um, butcher. And then we're gonna go deliver that to some families that have purchased that meat, which is so rewarding for us to see the end result of that. Okay guys, so we are at the um, processor where we had our pigs processed a couple weeks ago and I am actually picking up the meat for our customers. So I have all my coolers here. Since I'm driving all the way up to Kansas City area, I have to have all these in coolers. The van's gonna be all loaded down. But um, we're gonna go deliver them to their houses and I wanna show you guys how much meat this is. So instead of just going to the store and buying a couple pounds of meat at a time, our customers get to um, fill their freezer and um, keep this meat on hand for, I mean, it's almost probably a year's worth of meat for them, which is awesome. But yeah, they're about to bring it out here in a minute and I'm gonna start putting it in coolers and then we need to hit the road because <laughs> it's a three hour trip up there. So this is what it looks like. They just bring out this is a bunch of sausage and I'm putting it into coolers. A little cold on your hands, but that's okay. So we're here at my sister's house, and we had all three of these coolers filled with meat. And they're just finishing up, putting them away, trying to make space for all of it. Hey guys, so it's been a few weeks, but we got our pigs back, and I wanted to show you how much meat we actually got from these pigs. So, like I said, we took two pigs in. Ours were on the smaller side. Um, they were a different breed from the uh, pigs that our customers got. So our customers got a lot more meat than we did, but that's okay. Um, but I wanted to show you guys our freezer and how full it is of just this meat that will last us, um, hopefully for the full year. Like I said, we didn't get a whole lot our plan was to get two pigs that way it would last us all the way till next fall I don't think that's gonna be the case just because our family eats quite a bit of meat um, but I'll show you here okay so this bottom part is all pork so sorry about all the extra foods in here but I just wanted to show you guys it's crazy how much meat we get from um, these pigs and so instead of going to the grocery store like you normally would like a lot of traditional American families do and get one thing of bacon every week we have I don't even know uh, all of this is bacon so at least 12 packages of bacon um, we have ham steaks there sorry about all the cheese like I said um, a bunch of roast here um, ribs and down here is some breakfast sausage. So we get all the stuff that you could get at a grocery store, except for we just go about it a different way. Um, and we get to know how that pig was raised. Some pork chops. So we get to know how that pig was raised and <clears throat> um, just that it had the best life that it could um, being on our farm as a piglet all the way up to the day that um, we took it to the processor. I also want to show you guys, so we don't just have um, pork in here, but we also have beef. We butchered a steer and um, four cows for ground beef. So 
we are fully stocked for a long time. All of this is, um, uh, ground or is, sorry, is beef. We have some more stuff in the side. I forgot to say, um, ground beef and then sausage. And then I wanted to show you guys this whole freezer is full of ground beef. So can you believe going to the store? I mean, that's up to my hip going to the store and getting that much ground beef all at one time. A lot of people wouldn't know where to store it, but we are fortunate enough that we have this outside garage thing that um, we can keep a couple freezers and be stocked up for the full year. So back in the house, I'm saving all these extra scraps of food that my kids didn't eat for dinner or pretty much every meal that we do. Um, we put them into like a bowl. We have extra um, like eggshells that we've cracked and stuff, but I'm saving them for a certain reason. And I'll show you guys in just a minute when it gets a little bit more light out. Goodness, it's cold out here. So I have my food scraps, but I have somebody to show you guys. She is new here on the farm. She's only been here for probably a month or so, but this is our little posy is her name. And she's going to be our little breeder's house. So I told you guys that normally we get pigs um, from a friend of mine, like little piglets, that are about her size when they come to our farm. But um, then we raise them up and um, finish them in the fall and then have them become meat for our family and others. But little Posy is going to be our breeder's house. So that means that she is eventually going to have babies on our farm and then her piglets are going to be those ones that we raise up and uh, sell the customers or eat ourselves so we're so excited to have her she is a bunch of personality but i want to show you guys um her eating why are you eating the hay it's been really cold lately so i put a bunch of bedding in there for her but i want to show you guys her eating the food scraps because she just loves it Okay, Miss Posey, are you ready for your food? I had a pancake that got went bad in the fridge before I got to it. Like I said, all those scraps from dinner and stuff and eggs. There she goes eating the pancake. <laughs> she is in hog heaven. And then we're just going to take some corn and throw that on top. There we go. What do you think, little posy? Huh? Oh, she's so excited. Is it yummy? You can watch her little tail wag just like a little dog. Oh, now she's not into it. There you go. <laughs> what do you think, posy? Huh? You gotta always use your piggy voice around them. Is that good, Posy? Good girl, Posy. Good girl. <laughs> so definitely more to come with Miss Posy in our future videos. I wanted to say also, if you guys want to see any of our past videos uh, about our pigs or how we raise them, I'll leave a link in the iCards up here to a playlist that has all of our pig stuff. But again, thank you guys so much for watching another video of ours. We really appreciate all the support that you guys give us. And um, just make sure you give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.